We see AutoGPT everywhere and it dominates the tech world recently. Let me explain what it is. AutoGPT is an open source application that is capable of performing tasks without human intervention and it is powered by GPT-4. Yes, AutoGPT is different from ChatGPT in terms of the ability to make decisions on its own. That's why it is considered to be the first example of artificial general intelligence as known as AGI. In this video, we will make an AI agent that will create this to-do list app from scratch, including writing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code, and creating the files. Okay, let's start. To get started with AutoGPT, the first thing you should do is to sign up for OpenAI API key. To do that, go to platform.openai.com and sign up if you don't already have an account. By default, your account is in free trial and you need to set up a paid account to use the API for AutoGPT. Here, let me explain the pricing of OpenAI. Best thing is that there is no fixed monthly price, but it has more like a pay-as-you-go structure, which I prefer a lot more, because you don't need to pay anything if you stop using the API. Besides, the pricing is really affordable right now. So as you can see, for GPT for 8K context, it's 3 cents per 1000 tokens which is approximately 750 words. For GPT 3.5, it is much cheaper and you can also choose which model to use with AutoGPT. All right, after setting up your paid account, we can go to the command line. For this project, I am using VS Code, but feel free to use any IDE you want. You just need to open a terminal or command line in order to clone the GitHub project. Okay, now we say git clone dash b stable. And this is for cloning the stable branch. Since this is a very new and popular project, the master branch updates frequently and they are not recommending to use it. So instead we clone the stable branch. Okay, then we just copy and paste the project URL here and you can find the GitHub repo link in the description. Once you clone the project, you will see a file name .env.template here. This is a template for us to use it for the configurations. We will need to copy this file and name it .env and there is a command for this. Let's go into this project folder first with cd autogpt command and then we say cp stands for copy .env.template the old file name and the new file name will be .env. So this command copies the env file and now we have the file right here. Open this and find the line that says OpenAI API key. We will paste the API key on this line. So go back to OpenAI platform, then click Personal and View API Keys. And click Create New Secret Key. You can name it as you want, I'm gonna say AutoGPT. Okay, this is the API key and be aware that you don't want to share this with anyone. And don't worry, I will delete this after the video. Copy this from here and paste here like this. All right, now we are all set. One more thing before using AutoGPT is to ensure that you have Python version higher than 3.10. Otherwise, it will give a warning in the terminal. If you haven't installed Python yet, you can download it from python.org. After that, you can check the Python version using python dash dash version command. I am using Conda for version management of Python, so let me switch to a higher version. This is not a must, but I can recommend Conda since it makes easier to work with different Python versions on different projects. For example, my Python version right now is 3.9, but let's create a new environment for this project. I'm gonna say Conda create dash n autogpt environment. Here we are creating a new environment, and this environment is going to use Python 3.11. Then you should also activate the environment and we do this by saying conda activate autogpt environment. Now let's check the version again. I'm going to say python dash dash version and we are good to go. Okay, now everything looks good. We can just call the run.sh file to run the project. This may take a while, now we just wait. Okay, once it is ready, it's asking for the AI name. So here we are actually creating an AI agent and I want to start with a simple example. Say I have a trip to Berlin this weekend and I want AI to search for some concerts for this weekend. So this AI name is going to be Concert Finder. And now it is asking for the purpose of it. I will say Concert Finder is an AI designed to find three concerts 
in a city. Ok, next it asks for the goals of the AI. We can define up to 5 goals. In this case, first goal is to find 3 concerts in Berlin this weekend. Second goal is to write these events in a file named concerts, including the links. And that's enough for now. If you press enter without typing anything, it will start with only these goals. Alright, each step AutoGPT provides thought, reasoning and plan uh, for the output. And it says I should start by searching for upcoming events in Berlin using Google. We can see the reasons of this plan. And finally, the plan is to use Google for searching the events, analyzing the results and then write the events and their links into the file. There is also a criticism point which is fantastic. I need to make sure that I am searching for events that are happening this weekend and not just any upcoming events. That's exactly what we asked for, so if you accept, you can type Y. You can also give text input in the step. If something seems wrong to you, you can just fix it by giving text. I'm just gonna accept it. Ok, it finds the Songkick website and asks for approval to continue grabbing data from there. Accept again. And now I think it is scrapping the text data from the website and summarize them. Alright, now it found concerts happening this weekend and asks for writing to file. I will say yes one more time and the concerts file is here. But AutoGPT didn't stop, now it says I need to make sure that the links saved correctly. Um, well, let's see. Apparently we don't have any links here. It's nice to be aware of its mistake, right? But I will just stop it right now, I don't want to waste more time on this example and just google the first concert if it is really happening on this weekend. Apparently it is, so we can say AutoGPT did a great job on this task. Next up I will try to make AutoGPT create a website as I promised in the beginning of the video. Ok, now run the project again. And now it reminds me the latest AI agent which was Concert Finder. But we are done with it so I will say no. The new name will be Frontend Developer. And Frontend Developer is a coder who is able to write code in HTML, CSS and JavaScript to build websites. Goal 1. Write HTML, CSS and JavaScript code to make a user-friendly to-do list web app. Goal 2. Save this code to a file called to-do list. Alright, it started. And the first step is writing the HTML. It is nice that it has a purpose of writing a well-structured code and follows the best practices. I just say continue. Ok, it just wrote the HTML and we can see it here. And it is asking for writing this code to the file. I approve. And we already have the HTML file. Next, it is asking for the CSS file. Say yes again. By the way, if you don't want to approve each step manually, you can type y-5 for example and it will approve the next 5 steps automatically. But it is risky so I will just type y again. Ok, CSS file is also generated. And finally we should approve the JavaScript code as well. And in just seconds we have all of the necessary files. AutoGPT is now asking for testing, so why not? Let's test the code as well. Ok, at this point it wants to update the JavaScript code and write again. And I want to see the website first actually, to see if there is actually something wrong. So this is the HTML file and it looks good to me. JavaScript code here, as well as the CSS code. So let's first check the website. To do that copy the path of the HTML file and paste in Chrome. And here we go. AutoGPT thought that JavaScript is not working properly, so let's see. I will add some tasks. Ok, great. Now delete them. Good. I believe everything works. Let me try one more time. After some testing, I think the functionality works great, 
And nothing wrong about JavaScript code. But actually this website is not user friendly, right? And that's because it forgot to import the CSS file into the HTML code. So let's go and try to give feedback to AutoGPT. I'm gonna say, JavaScript works fine. Add link tag in the HTML file to import the CSS code. Okay, let's see if it really understands me. It says I will now add a link tag to the HTML file, which is great. I say yes. And we got a system error. It says file has already been updated. And honestly, I don't know the reason of this error. Then, after a few seconds, it comes with a solution to update the CSS code. This is not good actually. And the reason I included this part in the video is to show you every side of AutoGPT. Not every suggestion is right and sometimes we have to stop the agent and fix it. But anyways, this is still a very new technology and it will improve, certainly. So I can just link the CSS code myself. I will just say link and give the source of the file. So now let's check the website again. All right, this looks much better. Functionality still works and I am really happy with the result. Only thing is that maybe our agent missed to center the tasks div. Before recording the video, I asked the same job and for that project, it did center these divs, but for this one, it just did not. This is a good point to realize that AI is providing different solutions in each job, even if you wanted the same thing. All right, guys, that's how you can use AutoGPT in your local computers. For the last words, I am really impressed with this new technology and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you have questions, any idea or suggestion to make further AutoGPT tutorial videos, you can always reach me from the Yeti Learn community. I hope you enjoyed in this video and see you in the next one.